Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 656. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, new video has been released of a silver or white sedan where someone drove through the Bannock County Event Center's fence on Olympus Drive late February 7th to spin donuts on the snowy soccer fields. If you recognize this car, contact the Bannock County Sheriff's Office. Number two, construction crews begin work on an intersection of Hawthorne Road and West Quinn and Pocatello today. The intersection is expected to be closed until early summer. Number three, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced some proposed changes to school lunches. They are considering offering more whole grains, limiting flavored milk options, and lowering sodium by a total of 30 percent. The changes could start going into effect as soon as the fall of 2024 if approved. You can find these stories and more along with the uh, school closures for today on our website, localnews8.com and the Local News 8 app. Let's check back in on the weather with Jeff Roper. It's going to be a snowy day around here, and it doesn't look like there's much letting up. I'll show you what it looks like. This is uh, Arbon Valley, uh, and you go to Idaho Falls this morning, and we've got snow pounding on the door here, and uh, things are going to be quite. This is Pocatello. What a mess. Uh, you get toward the Jackson, and here we got snow on the ground. Uh, you know, things are are going to be pretty wispy. I'll show you what's going to happen. we got another front. Now, with a couple of inches of snow already on the ground this morning, we're going to add to that. So there may be several more inches that show up through the course of the day today, uh, mid-morning into the afternoon. Our wind chills this morning make it feel like we're in the single digits for a lot of us, and we'll see temps today with blowing snows and drifting snow in the mid to upper 20s around here for the afternoon. So just know that things are going to be uh, quite uh, frisky and brisky uh, around here as we have a full line of those uh, closings and delays for you. So in Jackson today, it's going to be about 24 degrees. We're going to be down to seven below tonight and then we'll be to 17 tomorrow and partly uh, sunshine. And uh, then we're going to see 28 in Pocatello. Good chances of showers and, you know, accumulating snows. And uh, obviously, uh, you can go to our website at localnews8.com for the video forecast and updated maps. It's going to be really cold with this backdoor cold front that will zip in here at one below tonight. Idaho Falls, 25 today. Those winds will blow 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts beyond that. Uh, and it's going to be down to about five below tonight. So it will be ultra cold with this backdoor cold front. You can see how things are shaking out to begin with. I'll give you one last look at the radar here. Uh, and the snows continue to fall. And there is, again, more to our north with this cold front that's going to push through here. So just know the I-15 corridor this morning is pretty slick. And uh, blowing snows will affect visibility and uh, make things uh, pretty tricky to travel on this Valentine's Day around here. All right, thanks, Jeff. Uh, just another note, the ICAP Head Start program is also closed today. Again, full list of closures on our website, localnews8.com. Yeah, stay safe out there. We'll see you here at noon. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>